Hello, my name is Luke, and I would like to give an introduction to data engineering. In this video, I want to explain the data engineer role. I'll be giving a high-level overview explanation and do my best to explain the concepts without getting too technical too fast. In later videos, I would like to go more and more into details, but first, let's start with the basics so we can build from there. So what is a data engineer? Well, a data engineer is a role within a company whose responsibility is to pull data in from various data sources and work with the data in a way that produces business value by building and maintaining data processing pipelines. Let's break this definition into four different parts and discuss each to get a general understanding of the basics. We'll be talking about the data, data sources, data and how it is related to business value, and lastly, building and maintaining data processing pipelines. So let's start with data. Data is just information about something. Some examples of data that you may find at a company include employee data, which has information about the employee, such as first name, last name, or date of birth, and sales data, which provides information about a sale, such as the product name, cost of that product, uh, and the amount sold of that product. These are just a couple examples of some business data that a data engineer may encounter. Well, this business data must be stored somewhere, so let's talk about the data sources. Within a company, data is stored and maintained in various applications the company uses to do business. In keeping with the earlier examples, to store the employee data, the, imp the company will have a human resources application, or HR for short. Inside this application, some tasks that may, may be performed are employee onboarding, employee offboarding, or updating employee information, such as last name. This is where employee data is collected and managed. The company may also have a sales application. This is where the business can track sales, manage customers, or even manage commissions for those sales. Like the employee data, the sales data must live somewhere so that the business can collect and manage sales data. You may have noticed that in these examples, this data lives in separate data sources. In most cases where the data is first collected and managed, it will live in separate applications. The applications may not know about each other and only provide value in a specific way. For example, the HR application specializes in working with employee data and likewise, the sales application will specialize in working with only sales data. This is where the data engineer's role really benefits the company. They can provide business value by extracting data from these various applications and join the data together to gain further insights into the company. Before we talk about how the data engineer does this, let's first talk about the next point, business value. So now that we have a general idea about data, and how it is just information describing something, and that this information is stored in separate applications that the data engineer will refer to as data sources, let's talk about why this data is important. Well, this data is important because it can bring value to the company by providing answers that help make business decisions. Other than completing the specific tasks within the applications the data is stored in, this data can also be analyzed and used to make business decisions to benefit the company. Again, keeping with the employee and sales data example, here are some uh, examples of data that can provide value. So with the employee data, maybe the business wants to list out employee birthdays uh, so they are able to send emails or a gift to their employees on their birthdays. Or they need to get a headcount by department, possibly need to move people to different departments. Or they may want a list of managers in the company so that they can see who all is a manager and maybe have access to who their direct reports are. Another example with the sales data would be to compare current month's sales to last month's sales to see how the company is, is doing. Or they can compare sales by different regions. Different regions are selling, uh, making more sales than a different region. These are just a few examples. The business has questions and the data has the answers. 
But once these answers are provided, then the true business value can be realized. But how can this business value be realized? Well, it is up to the data engineer to pull all this data together to provide these answers for the business. The data engineer accomplishes this by building out data processing pipelines. As mentioned earlier, a company will have various data sources that contains all their data. These pipelines will pull the data out of the business applications using either a no-code, low-code tool or custom code to achieve data processing. Using these tools, the data will process the data and move it into a central location where the data can be accessed for reporting, which is where the data really begins to provide answers for those business questions. The pattern is generally referred to as ETL. The data engineer will extract the data and then transform the data and lastly load the data. Or in a different pattern called ELT, the data engineer will extract the data, then first load the data to a staging area, and then lastly perform those transformations on the data for further processing. Now each part of this pipeline could be its own video. So for now, we will skip the details and just get an overview of what these pipelines will do. And I think that going through an example would be quite useful in understanding and a high overview of how the data engineer role plays out within a company. Let's say we have a company that sells bagels. This company sells a variety of bagels. Within the store, a normal interaction between the customer and cashier would look something like this. Customer walks into the store, has a craving for bagels, and therefore decides to purchase a couple bagels. The cashier proceeds to enter in the information about the customer order, and the customer's order is saved inside the sales application. And the customer enjoys their bagel. What is important to the data engineer is the information or data that was collected about this sale. The data engineer working at this bagel company will be tasked to create a data processing pipeline to gather data about bagel sales. The customer's orders are stored inside the sales application. So in this case, the sales application will be the data source for this pipeline. First, the data engineer will implement some logic to extract the data. Then, the data engineer may also develop some data transformations to further process that data. And lastly, the data engineer will load the data into a central location to do some analytical work on the data to really begin to help answer those business questions. Now, the data engineer will encounter many different data sources and will most likely not just work with one data set. They will have the responsibility of pulling from multiple data sources and joining the data together. For example, within the bagel company, they may also have a data source that contains store information. The company may own multiple stores and have information about those stores located in a different data source. So the data engineer will repeat much of the same process by building out a pipeline that extracts store information. The logic to process the data may look slightly different, but the pipeline pattern will be much of the same. Once the data is processed and moved to a central location, what could be some of those questions that the data can answer? Well, the business may want to know based on the sales data during what times were the ba most bagels sold or what type of bagels had the most sales. And even more questions can be answered now that the data engineer has collected and joined data about bagel sales and store information. For example, which store sold the most bagels? Or did each store have their own favorite type of bagel? You can begin to understand that the data engineer's role is very vital for a company. Working with many different data sources, the data engineer can begin to answer lots of questions from the business that will ultimately drive up value for the company and help make business decisions. In conclusion, a data engineer is a role within a company whose responsibility is to pull data in from various data sources and work with the data in a way that produces business value by building and maintaining data processing pipelines. Data gives a company insights into the information about their company that they would otherwise not know without the data engineer's work. 
The data provides valuable insights that drive the business to make confident decisions. In the bagel comp company example, after looking at the sales and store information, the company may decide to close a store. Close a store if their sales are not performing well. Or maybe they need to open a store location if they are making lots of sales and can't handle the customer traffic. Another business decision that could be made is to order more blueberry bagels at a specific store because they keep selling out too quickly. And from an inventory management um, perspective, they need to purchase more blueberries, blueberry bagels. A lot more decisions could be made based off the data, but those were just to name a few. The data engineer's role is vital in a company's path to success. I hope you enjoyed the material, and if you are new to data engineering or didn't even know the career path existed, then I hope you found this video insightful and useful. I hope to see you in the next video, and I hope you guys have a great day.